Thanks Trade Coffee for sponsoring this video. With Trade, you can discover new coffees from the nation's best local roasters. Trade matches you to your own personal selection of coffee and ships straight from the roastery at peak freshness. It's super easy. You just take a quick quiz, answer questions about how you like your coffee, and Trade will curate matches just for you. Then you can choose your delivery frequency and it appears right at your doorstep, delivered at the peak of freshness. Then you just rate and repeat your matches so Trade can continue to delight you with coffee you'll love. I've been a fan of Trade for a few years now. I just love having the coffee delivered right to my doorstep. I like that I can try out different coffees from different roasters. Like this coffee from Nashville, it's got notes of tart cherry and chocolate. With Trade, the coffee is roasted and shipped within 24 hours of ordering. And Trade guarantees you'll love your first coffee, but if you don't, they'll ship you out a different bag for free and they use compostable bags to ship out their coffee. Right now, my viewers will get 50% off their first bag when they sign up. You just take the quiz, click my link, link in the description box, and enter my code, and free shipping is also included. Well, hey guys, we are out to run errands and check out my new zip-up hoodie with <coughs> The YouTube logo. This is the Google YouTube merch that um, I guess you can buy, but I um, was invited to do this thing through YouTube, which was really cool. I guess they were like training their new hires and they had, they invited a few YouTubers to um, be on a Zoom call for the training to kind of like you know, introduce our channel and just kind of talk about the logistics of being a YouTuber on the back end to kind of familiarize, I guess, the new hires with with the YouTube shtick. I don't know. And as a thank you gift, they sent me this this cool um, hoodie, which I love. It is very comfortable, soft on the interior. They also sent me a baseball hat with the YouTube logo. I don't know that I'll be rocking that. Maybe I will, but I kind of like it because it's sort of, you know, subtle. It's just a little play button. I dig it. I feel cool. <laughs> and it's got a hood too, which I also like. My hair, by the way, hairstyle today is subscriber sponsored because my hair accessories are gifts from you guys. I'm wearing um, at the base of my braid. Someone sent me these velvet scrunchies. Um, they came in a pack and they do the triple helix. So I mentioned this last week. In order for a hair tie to work for my ponytails, it has to do, it has to go three, it has to go around three times. Um, and then this is that other hair elastic that someone sent me that does not go around three times, but it doesn't dent. And so it's really good for the base of the braid because it stays in place. You know those little elastic ribbon ties I usually have? They don't, they'll slip off sometimes, I've noticed, off the, the braid and you know, they'll be gone and then I'm just like left with an unraveling braid which is not fun <laughs> anyways ah oh, it is a gorgeous day out today I'm wearing on my face I'm wearing that Bondi Sands sunscreen we tried out together last weekend I rather like it I'm, I'm liking it so far um it is a little shiny 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 but hey, you know I can get down with some shine. Um, I'm also wearing it on my body because I'm wearing those those Amazonian shorts that I can't seem to take off. <sighs> They're so comfortable. <sighs> it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. So I, spoiler alert for my monthly favorites, I finished the, um, the, uh, Netflix I finished Firefly Lane remember in my last favorites video I told you guys I was gonna start watching that because I had reread the book all right I will tell you my opinion of it you'll have to wait until the favorites to hear that but I saw they did have some good movies on there that I, I will happily rewatch what do they have on there that is a good one oh um what's eating Gilbert grape I love that that was Leonardo DiCaprio did a really good job in that movie, and so did Johnny Depp. But I mean, those two, they're talented. 
So that's on there. I could rewatch that. I've never seen Cool Hand Luke, and I noticed that that was on there. So I may have to, I may have to activate that and watch it. Comment below. Is there a movie on Netflix that you guys recommend? I am a fan of movies. I also started a new book that I really like too. So you'll have to hear, you'll have to wait to hear about that on my favorites video coming up because I'm, I'll finish it. It's, it's quite good. I would tell you the name of it, but I've already forgotten. I am terrible when I'm reading books because I, I just like, I don't know. I, I never pay attention to the title, the titles of books unless it's a title that I've heard over and over again and I know that that's what I'm reading. I don't pay the pay much attention to the actual titles of books which is really bad but this book that I'm reading in particular I'm rather enjoying it's quite good so far I'm about a third of the way through it how's y'all spring going I, I, I love spring it's a great like I don't know I just feel energetic is that the right word happier in the spring and the summer just gets too hot to to even smile <laughs> you sweat too much all right, I just pulled up at Costco. This is what I have been doing before masking up. I just sanitize my hands. Um, I take, this is the Vanny Cream Moisturizing Ointment. You could use any ointment, but this is like for the lips. But anyways, I just take a blob of it and make, make a barrier on my upper lip. Yeah, I mentioned this in a video recently, but once I put the mask on, my nose will start running and the not profusely or anything but the nasal secretions will sit on my upper lip and break down erode my skin barrier so i put a thick layer of petrolatum on and i'm only going to be in you know the store for a little while so this should help but it only lasts you know it helps but if you're wearing your mask for like more than more than an hour you know it absorbs in the skin and that's kind of about it but it definitely helps a lot so if you're dealing with the mask issue like I've been I suggest trying that out it's only really been an issue for my upper lip and then if I'm wearing the mask for a long time it ends up affecting my lower lip too but knock on wood, I have not had any issue with the mask anything. I'm really grateful for that. Ew, Costco got in the Adidas ladies cloud foam shoes. I think I got these a few years ago and I really like them. A different pattern, but um, yeah. Almost knocked the boxes over there. I've been contemplating getting a second crock pot for some time now. I have my multi cooker that, you know, I use as a crock pot, but sometimes I want to have two going. I know one person why do they need to but I, I don't know I think it would be handy to have another one I just don't want to store it $39.99 this one's got the locking gasket lid what exactly is the point of the locking lid I I see a lot of youtubers have that feature and they'll get comments like never lock the lid so like what why do they even have that I guess it, so you can take it to a potluck socializing yeah I definitely don't need that feature Costco got in this uh, self-cleaning countertop ice maker. I see people like raving about having these, but it seems like, what, yeah, a lot of people talk about having these little ice makers. Self-cleaning, $79.99. This Ricardo luggage is always here. Costco size umbrella. Three people will fit underneath it. Oh my gosh, you guys. Wasn't it the last time I was in here? I was like, if Bernado comes back, I'm getting it. Okay, spoiler alert, it's back. But look at this little personal helix. See, last year they had a mini version of the one that I have, but now they have this, this one I kind of like. It takes up less space. $19.99. Hmm. Now, I did say I was gonna get it, but I'm not gonna get it today because I know it's gonna go on sale. It's $39.99, but when I bought it, I paid 20 bucks for it, so I'm gonna wait for that, for that, but it's totally worth it. Even full price, it's worth it. It's the best fan I've ever encountered. 
Medics air purifier. All right, so I'm back from the grocery haulage and I got dishwasher packs from Kirkland. I adore these. They do a really good job and they last a good long while. But be careful popping the seal on this container because it's that kind of harsh plastic. I have a, here I'll show you guys. I have this little bin. I think it's supposed to store cereal, but it works perfectly. It will hold one of the one of these uh, packs. So I just open it and dump it in there because it's really hard to get in and out of this. All right, more than you probably want to know about Kirkland dishwasher packs. I also got this. I was in need of some toilet bowl cleaner and the promise of, what was the promise that this came with that just sucked me in? Thick clinging gel. I don't know. I was like, that sounds very promising. Uh, so, uh, again, more than you guys wanted to know about cleaning my toilet bowl. Earthbound Farms Organic Power Greens. These are so good. I go through this bag in like seriously two days. They're my favorite. Um, I got a big bag of Boscovich spinach. I have passed these so many times and today they were just like, today is the day, Andrea, that you're gonna buy us and love us. So we'll see how the Tasso's garlic and jalapeno stuffed olives go for me. This was like a dream. <laughs> these Kirkland organic Brazil nuts. This is brand new. It's just plain Brazil nuts. I, I Truthfully, I actually don't like eating Brazil nuts, just plain, they're okay. But what I really like doing is taking one and putting it through putting it through this and mixing in a little nutritional yeast and it kind of is a great like cheesy topping for things. Very good. So got some of those. Also got my um, emoji apples for my slow cooker apples, my mixed squash, some bananas. Then from the Croge, I got some Ibotas. Some Ibotas, I got Cashew milk, which was not on Ibotta, but this I decided to give a try. I'm not a fan of oat milk, you guys know this. I find it's kind of sludgy and whatnot, but a while ago I had this Muala brand and I was okay with it. This is currently on sale at Kroger and there's a coupon at Kroger and it's on Ibotta, um, so I decided to go with it. If I remember correctly, this is mostly more of a coconut milk taste, so I think I'm gonna like it. Um, I also got some bags of frozen cauliflower this is on sale right now at kroger i love sparkling ice drinks but they are not inexpensive and i have been wanting to try this grape raspberry flavor for a long time and they never sell it as a solo flavor they only sell it in this multi-pack at least in my kroger and i love the um watermelon strawberry flavor and the lemon lime is kind of like Sprite. I have actually never had the lemon flavor, the classic lemonade, so there we go. Got a bag of angel hair coleslaw. I love this stuff because you can buy cabbage and make your own coleslaw, but there's something about this particular angel hair. I cannot get my cabbage chopping like this. Love it. And I got some of the Simple Truth plant-based cauliflower tzatziki dip because this plus this, this plus this, delicious coleslaw. Very easy. You just take this, dump it, mix it, incubate it in the fridge for an hour to let this kind of get less al dente. Delicious. Um, this was on Ibotta, and I've actually, I actually like it. The Ray's No Sugar Added. This is a hickory flavor. I've had both the hickory and the regular. Pretty good. I prefer... I prefer GL Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce, but this is not bad, and it's on it's on Ibotta, so that sucked me in. This is also on Ibotta. It's the Siete Enchilada sauce. They have a green one and a red one. I decided to try the green one because I love their cashew queso. I love it, love it, love it. Doesn't taste like cheese to me. It just tastes delicious. <laughs> um, so I decided to give this a try. It's got um, tomatillo and green bell pepper. Probably something you could easily, easily make yourself, but hey, I wanted to give it a try. So yeah, that's everything that I got this week from Croge and Costco. Check it out, you guys. Snapdragons are blooming. Wow. 
This is really taking off. Um, my little mini is going strong. <laughs> this parsley takes over though. Chives can't catch a break. <laughs> uh, I was thinking of getting another plant to put here and I was wondering if it could siphon off of the collective grow lights if I just put it like right here. What do you guys think? Comment below. Like um, when I was in Kroger, outside of Kroger they had these little single pots with everything you needed to grow a plant and they had lavender. I was really tempted to get it. It was $10, had like the food and everything. <clears throat> and I thought if I put it right here, maybe it would grow via the grow lights, but I don't know. Let me know you guys, those of you out there who have more knowledge of plants, <gasps> let me know. I don't know why this one Snapdragon is like croaking. Um, it could be, honestly though, it could be something with my water. Um, my tap water may be too hard or something, probably. Um, maybe that causes the leaves to get discolored like this. Or maybe it's like something with the proportion of the, the, the plant food and the water. Like maybe it ends up being too much of a given mineral for, for one. I don't know, I'm just guessing here. Ew, Dill's putting out a new bud there. Speaking of my plants, do you guys remember when this was like just a stick for a while after I transferred it over to this pot and all the leaves died? Well, he has come back for sure. I need to water him though. All right, scan my receipt, clicked my offers, and I'm gonna collect, collect. 275, sweet. All right, y'all, I'm gonna crack into these Tasso's garlic and jalapeno stuffed omelets. I wanna try one. But not only do I wanna try one, I am so excited because I'm so excited. You just can't have it. Where did it go? A viewer heard my struggle with opening the pickle jar and sent me this gadget. It's called you see that? I got you zoomed in. Real. R-H-E-A-L. Uh, it is for popping the lids. So I'm going to try it out. You will find this tool the solution for releasing the stubborn vacuum seal that challenges you to twist open lids. Hold jar firmly. Place Spry's lid lifter between the glass jar and the lid. A gentle squeeze will release the vacuum seal. Let's see. Woo! Did you hear that? It worked! Cool! Alright, let's crack on in. See, if I had, if I had opened that myself, I could have. I could have cracked that seal. Don't doubt my strength. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like Mr. Olympia. Don't doubt my strength. I can open it, but I have to put it down, and that always lends itself to a, a leak spring. And yes, I know you can like pound the bottom or whatever, but now I got this cool gadget, so I don't have to do that. Ooh, looks delicious. All right, let's put one out. I'm, I want to try one for you guys to gauge so you have an idea of how spicy they are. Because it says mild. Mm. All of me. <laughs> Why not take all of me? Mmm. I am really glad I just jumped on the bandwagon. I'm really glad I decided to try this. I said I almost said bandwagon, but I'm the only one. <laughs> I'm the only I'm the only band member in that wagon. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm glad I went with the urge to try these because they are very good. Uh, the jalapeno is very very subtle, and this is mild is putting it mild. These are pretty mild, but the garlic is is a nice touch too. The garlic's not over overpowering either. These are good. I'm gonna have me another one. YOLO. Mmm. 
Move over, Oreo. Tasso's is double stuff in there. Olives. Highly recommend this if you're a Costco girl for your olive tray. They have, they had two other types of olives that I was tempted to get. They had an organic, some organic olives that I don't believe were stuffed with anything. And then they also had the ones I always have that are stuffed with pimentos. I thought about getting those, but I went with this and I'm glad I did. These are good. -er. And this, she says, it's, I think she says it's on eBay. You can get this. Um, real, R-H-E-A-L. She said that, I think, I think she said, I can't remember. I think she said she had uh, a segment on Home Shopping Network with this, which is pretty cool. So if I can find it on eBay, I will link it down below. Um, real products. This is handy. I'm trying to get my post run stretch in. Now that we're, the weather's nice though, I should run outside some. I mean to do that. I keep meaning to do that, but then every time it turns dark around the time I want to go out for a run. But hey, daylight savings time is, oh shoot, daylight savings is tomorrow. What about that? Uh, not a fan of the daylight savings time. I vote that we should do away with it. There's actually papers on the harms of daylight savings time because it disrupts people's sleep schedule so much. There's like a peak in accidents and stuff. I mentioned this in a video and somebody commented that they didn't believe me. They thought I was overstating um, the risks of sleep deprivation. I was like, yeah, um, sleep deprivation is akin to being drunk. And they're like, no way, it's true. It's absolutely true. Like when you're sleep deprived, um, it's, it's like you're, you're being, it's like you're drunk. Um, <clears throat> you're cognitively impaired. Ugh. Do our post run shavasana here. Uh, I match my yoga mat. I've had this yoga mat for a few years now. I don't do yoga on it ever, really. I just do my little blog lotties routines and stuff. It's pretty good. It's a gaim, I think that's how you say it. It was a. Marshall's Home Goods find. And I've been happy with the quality, but I've never, I've never really actually done yoga on it. I think for actual true yoga, it'd be nice to have a wider mat. But for the purposes of what I do, it's just fine. Um, yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. Don't forget, check out Trade Coffee, a really an awesome service to try out different coffees. Um, thank you for coming along with me today. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. If so, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.